What's up, everybody? Doc Doc 1985. There's levels to this. Listen, if there's anything that can't be denied, is that Nintendo is on a completely different level. Nintendo is out here and they do whatever they want. They are borderline untouchable, right? And I, I believe that Nintendo has showed Xbox what to do when you can't win or when you don't want to compete anymore. And what you do is you change the game to however you want it to be. Listen, the Nintendo Switch, for all intents and purposes, shouldn't be what it is today. And what it is, is it's still a massive gaming powerhouse. I don't mean powerhouse in terms of power. What I mean is in terms of being a gaming console, the Nintendo Switch does things that the other two consoles can't do, and it does it seamlessly. Does it with less power? Does it being less intrusive? And the amount of options that it gives you are ridiculous. And they literally did it by saying, you know what? We're not going to compete with what everybody else is doing. Now, I don't know if Nintendo was officially losing. I know the Wii U didn't do well, right? Um, the Wii was a massive success, right? But that also was part of them changing whatever. I think the last probably head-to-head console that they have, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, was probably what? The Nintendo 64 versus the PlayStation? Or would you say the GameCube versus what was at the time? PS2? Like, what, what would you guys think were the consoles that competed against each other around that time? Wherever it was, at some point, Nintendo said, you know what? We're not playing this game anymore. We're going to go ahead and pivot. And we're not going to compete one-on-one, battle to battle, power for power, whatever the case may be. And it worked out for them. They literally changed the way you and I play. The Wii changed the way you and I play. And it might have been a gimmick or whatever the case may be, but they were able to reach masses Everybody had a Wii. Every grandmother, every retirement center, everybody had a Wii. Now, Xbox is doing the same thing. They're taking a page out of Nintendo's book. We got Mollywop last generation. Why would we try to compete the same way? Maybe they see that they can't compete the same way. There's no way that they can catch up to the stronghold that PlayStation has. I... I said this, um, I don't know if I, I said this in, I, I might have left this in a comment somewhere on somebody's video. Oh, Coffee The. Yeah, yeah, go check out his, his, his channel. He, has a, he does a podcast every Sunday, Coffee The. Coffee The underscore. G- good dude. Anyways, I went to an arcade center in New Jersey called Yestercade, okay? And this arcade center, whatever, was pretty cool you pay like a like an hourly fee and you get to use all the arcades in there or you could play some pool they had even had chess boards up and then up against the wall they had big um oled tvs that were connected to all current and old consoles right they had a whole bunch of tvs probably like six tvs across the wall okay and you just went up to the counter told them what game you wanted to play and then went ahead and turned on the console gave you the control and you, you just got to play it As I'm sitting there and I'm looking at all these consoles, okay, they had PS5s, Xbox Series Xs, okay, and then they had old retro consoles, right? Everybody was playing on the PS5. Every single TV on was a PS5. Nobody, and I was there for two hours, okay, nobody had an Xbox on. And... The most interesting about that is that nobody, not one of those TV, was playing a PlayStation exclusive. They were all playing a multi-plat game, every single last one of them. They were either playing um, Fortnite, they were either playing Warzone, they were either playing uh, Apex Legends, they were all playing Everything but an exclusive, but they all had a PlayStation 5 on. Almost as if no one knew that the Xbox can also play all those games. 
And the Xbox was also there. Very interesting. So maybe Xbox sees this on a larger scale. There's nothing we can do when it comes to the actual hardware of our sales. So let's change the game. That's what they're doing. So we are going to be in a future where Nintendo is in its own lane. Sony, it's in its own lane. And Xbox, it's in its own lane. And because everybody's in in their own lane, you can't use the same measuring stick of success. Because they're all trying to do different things. This is a gamble. We'll see if this actually works for Xbox. But clearly, all they care about right now is that you can play their games wherever you want to play them, pretty much. And they're starting to get all the big games to make sure that no matter what you play, it belongs to them. I think if we were in a scenario where all those PlayStations were on, but the games that you were playing on those PlayStations belonged to Xbox, I think they'd be okay with that. That's a scary world for everybody else. When, yeah, sure, it's your device, but it's our software that they want to play. Oof. Doc Dog 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.